What's up guys and welcome back to the Crack a Pack series. Today we are opening up a pack of 2011 Corset. Uh, this is a Corset, so do keep in mind that we're probably not gonna see as high a power level card. So some cards that would normally be a first pickable card or not a first pickable card might actually be better off in this set. So we'll see uh, what we end up with. Of course, we are gonna go through every single card uh, and hopefully be able to figure out what our pack one pick one pick would be if I can get the pack open. There we go. All right, so we do kick it off with a scroll thief. So a one, three for two and a blue. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card, pretty straightforward card, but I do actually like it quite a lot. Uh, it's a little bit tough to get in damage with a one, three. Uh, and so it's not really the best thing in the world, especially since it doesn't have any built-in evasion. But occasionally this is a good card to pick up just because even if it just draws a card, it replaces itself. So that's kind of worth it. Uh, again, though, at three mana, you kind of want to be doing a little bit more, so I'm not like a huge, huge fan of that card. Uh, Sacred Wolf is a 3-1 for two and a green, and it can't be the target of spells or abilities that your opponent controls, so essentially it has Hexproof. Uh, I actually like this card quite a lot. It's just got random upside. Yes, it's a 3-1, which is a little bad, uh, but it's not like they can burn it. Like, they have to block it and it has three power, so it's going to be able to hopefully trade with something at the very least. Um, or you can kind of stack things onto it and actually give it, you know, a huge, huge boost. So I do really like that. Uh, Child of Night, a uh, very classic 2 1 for 1 and a black, and it has lifelink. Uh, this is just a fairly good on par creature. It's perfectly fine to play as a 2 drop. Uh, life gain, while not really a huge uh, bonus and limited most of the time, uh, it, it can protect you against some low to the ground decks. And so uh, having a card like this that can at least trade off and maybe gain you a couple points of life uh, is definitely worth it. I think I like the Sacred Wolf better, but uh, I do really like Child of Night as well. <laughs> Uh, Liliana's Spectre is one and two black for a two one with flying. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. I actually really like this card, probably more than the Sacred Wolf as well. Uh, this is just a really powerful card. It's a two one flyer for three, which is fine. Uh, it's not amazing, but it actually, it, it does the job. Uh, but on top of that, they have to discard a card when it just hits the battlefield. So assuming they don't counter it, uh, whether they remove it or not after the fact doesn't really matter. They still had to pull a card from their hand. And yes, it might've just been a land. It might've been a fairly insignificant card, but uh, in limited, kind of every card matters. You you really, really want to be d uh, dwindling down your opponent's resources as much as possible. And so for that reason, I really do like the Spectre. Uh, Blinding Mage is a 1-2 for 1 and a white, and you can pay a white, tap it, and tap target creature. This is a very classic tapper effect. We see this in most sets nowadays, uh, and it's very good. Uh, it's not insanely, insanely awesome, but it is really, really nice. I like cards like this a lot. Uh, they're able to basically take a huge threat and nullify it, not eliminate it, but nullify it for a while at the very least. And so I really like having cards like this, not more than the Spectre. I think on the value side of things, the Spectre is just a little bit higher, but it is a good card. Uh, Goblin Tunneler is a 1-1 one, one for one and a red, and you can tap it and target creature with power two or less is unblockable this turn. This is a really, really good card for red deck wins. Uh, very, very low to the ground kind of cards that you, the creatures that you'd expect to see are probably gonna be two power, maybe three power, but a lot of them are gonna be low to the ground. And so for this, you can just kind of make them unblockable and then keep swinging in, which is exactly what you need to do with a deck like that. So. This is very much an enabler for that deck, uh, but it is a very, very good one. Uh, Jace's Erasure, so one and a blue for an enchantment. Whenever you draw a card, you may have target player put the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. So this is a really interesting card, actually. Um, I really like Mill, just fun fact. Uh, and so a card like this actually is really appealing to me. You're gonna draw at least one card per turn and being able to dwindle your opponent's deck in the process of something that you just passively have to do is pretty good. Plus it is an enchantment, which means Naturally speaking, they're probably not going to have the best hate, especially in game one against it. Um, also, if you just have any kind of just random draw spells, you're going to get bonus off of this. So they're going to have to keep discarding. Uh, for that reason, I actually really like this card. This is very much a me pick. Uh, it may not be the correct pick, but so far this for me is in the win. <laughs> 
Uh, Plummet is an instant for one and a green. Destroy target creature with flying. Very classic card, one that we've seen in a lot of sets. Uh, and it's actually pretty good. Uh, most of the time you can mainboard maybe one of these, uh, but it's really more of a sideboard card just because some decks really don't have a lot of creatures with flying. Uh, so it may just be a dead card in your hand and you definitely don't want that. But uh, for two mana at instant speed, destroying a creature is very, very efficient. Uh, and so in certain matchups, this is the perfect card. Uh, so definitely if you're in green, you will want this. I do not first pick a card like this, but it is really, really powerful. Uh, Tireless Missionaries is a 2-3 for 4 and a white. When it enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life. I absolutely do not like this card. I think this is terrible. For 5 mana, you're getting a 2-3 and a few life. That's very, very bad. Uh, this is going to be outclassed like crazy by turn 5. And 3 life really isn't going to help you in that if that's the instance. So, not a fan. <laughs> Uh, Bloodthrown Vampire is a 1-1 one, one for 1 in a black. You can sacrifice a creature and it gets plus 2, plus 2 until end of turn. This works really well for random sacrifice outlet decks. It's just a solid card. It's not amazing. I'd probably not want to first pick a card like this by any means, but it is actually pretty good in certain matchups, or in certain decks, excuse me. Uh, Armored Ascension is an enchantment for 3 and a white. It's an enchant creature. The creature gets plus 1, plus 1 for each planes you control and has flying. This is very, very powerful. Normally I'm not a fan of enchant creatures, but uh, a card like this seems really, really good because you're probably going to have 3 or 4 planes by the time you play this. Uh, and so it's already going to be like a 3-3 three, three buff, maybe a 4-4 four, four buff. And if you're later in the game, it's going to be even more than that. But it also gets flying, so it's a kind of a game ender kind of card. Uh, so I really, really like this. I'm going to keep it with the erasure for now. Uh, Earth Servant is a 4-4 four, four for 5 and a red, and it gets plus 0, plus 1 for each mountain you control. So essentially it gets a bigger butt. Uh, I don't know that I'm really a huge fan of that. I don't think more than the cards that we've already got, definitely not. Uh, it is really powerful. I mean, it's going to stick around for a while. They definitely can't burn it, uh, and it's going to be able to block for days, but it doesn't really seem to be that proactive. It's a 4x, basically, uh, and 4 is kind of the minimum. So, like, I think it's fine. I, it seems really expensive for, like, a 4-7 or 4-whatever, so I'm not a huge fan of it. Uh, Liliana's Caress is a very good uh, constructed card. It's an enchantment for one in a black. Whenever an opponent discards a card, that player loses two life. Uh, I do really like this. It works quite well with the Spectre, but you kind of have to have both, and I'd rather have the Spectre first, for sure, because uh, that's good on its own. This needs discard outlets to make it good. Uh, and so I'm not a huge fan of this in limited to be honest you really have to build around it and make it good uh, So I'm I would pass on it personally, but it is a very good constructed card And then our rare is dark tutelage So it's an enchantment for two and a black at the beginning of your upkeep reveal the top card of your library and put that card into your hand You lose life equal to its converted mana cost. So this is actually really powerful. This is basically dark confidant uh, but not on a stick which is fine. It's actually really really good, but uh, it you really have to keep your curve low because it's going to deal a lot of damage to you very, very quickly. I feel like in limited, it's not quite as good. I would probably take this on a speculative pick uh, only because I've never gotten to play with it and I'd like to see how good it is. But again, you're really going to have to keep your curve low to make this good. That being said, you're hopefully going to be able to uh, just bury your opponent in card advantage with something like this. So I think it's worth it. Uh, that's probably what I would pick. We do, of course, have our planes and our token, but uh, that's probably what I would pick. Again, that might be wrong in limited, though, just because uh, your curve is a little bit more all over the place. You're subject to the packs, and that can be a little bit tricky, uh, but I do think it's worth it to give it a shot. So that's what I would pick uh, with Armored Ascension and Jace's Eraser uh, as like close seconds in my mind. So probably the Armored Ascension would be a good close second, but... Anyway, that's going to be my pick. If you agree, if you disagree, let me know in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like or a comment anyway, and make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.